As part of the dream to give back to the nation, WAC TV International is organizing a free training for videography and photography for at least 500 persons right here in the city of Bodhakot, River State, Nigeria. Our vision is to empower as many young minds as possible with the aim of giving them a reason to secure a better future for themselves. For more inquiry, please call 080-811-23481. SWAC TV International, giving back to the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, my name is Omoje So Alfred, and I'm seeing the swatting, I'm seeing the boss of all bosses, and I happen to be among the very most innocent guys on the face of planet Earth. Of all, like the Caesar, I came, I saw, and of course, I conquered because the street refused to go to church, and I made up my mind that I was definitely going to take the church to the streets. Of course, guess who I have right here with me, seen on set. Okay, uh, last week we actually talked about the religion and Christianity. Uh, what what is the difference between the religion and Christianity? And of course, a lot of you actually made one or two comments concerning that on social media platform. I received a call from at least two persons answering me after watching the program on air on Monday. And um, some says, oh, they agreed. And the other says, she will want to know more better. But for today, we're, we're taking a little bit step further and we're looking at the importance of tithes and offering. At this point, I would like to go very short, but of course, when I return, I'm definitely going to be introducing to you um, the man of the moment, but of course, he's going to take us through the topic of the importance of tight and of it. But that will be after the short break. Thank you. Regardless of the words you're telling me that the sky is my limit, I know that I, I can reach for the stars. I may live in my emotions and you may scrutinize my expression, but I will make every moment count. I will claw, punch and kick my way to every barrier that leads to the top. Because I know that I can break a nail. I am more than what you see. I am more than entertainment. I. And Swag TV giving back to the nation. Now, welcome back from the break, and of course, it's Cinema J. So, after our topic today, the the importance of tithes and offering. Why there we've been discussing on this topic is Reverend Tony. How is everything, sir? Thank you, Amojesu. God bless you. All right, God bless you too. Okay, uh, Pastor Tony, we are looking at the importance of tithes and offering. What is the importance of tithes and offering? Thank you. As your name implies, tithe, offering. These yeah. are two distinct factors. Yeah. Tight has to do with one tenth. Remember in Genesis 14, 17 to 20, okay. Abraham was the first of doing his own tithing and he met Meshisedek. And the Bible said he gave Meshisedek a tenth of everything he had. Okay. And Meshisedek now bless him, bless his bread, bless his wine. The bread is surplus, is food, agriculture. The wine is health, which means if you pay your tithe, you are going to get health and you are going to get provision. Okay. That's the truth about it. Okay. Yes, you are, your, your health will not go into derail where you are going to spend your money on health if you are a tighter. You can't spend money on health. You can't find, spend money on provision because I said the earth is a loss and if uh, the earth is a loss and the fullness thereof. Then for offering, offering, as the name implies, is offer. Before you now say continuous present tense, offering. So there must be an offer. The offer, what are you offering to God? Okay. What are you giving to God? So offering is a sacrifice. Like economists will tell you of opportunity costs, alternative for God. I want this. 
But the resources are limited. So you do your skill of preference and you forgo some. So also Christianity has to come to the reality that yes, all what you want, you can't get all. So but you can offer to God for what you want, just as we sow this seed and the seed became a fruit. So you sow the seed of offering, which is a seed and it, whether you like it or not, it's going to grow. Provides on a fertile soil and it now becomes an offering. So when it's an offering, that means there are attributes just like seed turning to fruit. And you cannot use the fruit for so many things. The fruit itself, you use it for something else. The seed itself for another, for another thing. Like you have the meal, you have the grill, grill meal and all the rest. So the seed can give you a different production. And the fruit itself, whether succulent, can give you a different production. But you just sold one and you got two. Mm. All right. Okay, now, so now are you trying to say that if we don't pay our offering and our tithes, there is every possibility that we're going to be in financial crisis. That's correct. Remember that they asked Christ, and they said, Christ asked Peter, he asked his wife, say, who paid us? Is it the children or strangers? And they said, strangers. And he said to Peter, I said, go to the sea, get the first fish. The fish you caught, open the mouth. And you're going to say, come, bring it and pay for me and you. Now, Christ paid us. For the kingdom is tight in we pay. But the government of the day takes us. It is with us the government to give us good roads, water supplies, light. No, don't mind our situation in Nigeria, you understand? <laughs> you understand? Okay. So, you, when you pay your tax, you are entitled to this. So, it, it's the same thing. And the government uses tax to do all these things. The same thing say in Malachi 3, 8 to 10, say, bring all your tithes into my storehouse. And he said, if you do that, I'm going to rebuild the devourer for your sake. Which means he's giving you free medical care, mm. free medical health, free education, free. So you are not going to be in a financial stress okay. or in a financial mess because you are a tighter. Mm. A tight is a, an, it's like, it's a security to your financial, uh, your financial assets. Okay. Is a security. All right, now, but before 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 we go for the break, now um, a lot of persons used to say that um, um, I must not give my tithe to the church. Now they will say um, it's not compulsory that we give our tithe to church. That we can give our tithe to the people out there that need help, that need um, maybe um, they are going through financial crisis. And sometimes they, they, these people, you, you 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 try to convince them, but they will tell you that. Um, God did not say we should give our tithe to church. But before you answer that question, ladies and gentlemen, like to be very sure they go nowhere. We'll be right back shortly. Thank you. From the short bit, don't forget my name, Sin Omo J. So, our friend, of course, I have Reverend Dr. Tony right there with me on set. We're still looking at tithes, the importance of tithe and offering. Like Ella, I said before, there are some people, a lot of people, large percentage of um, numbers of persons believe that um, it's not compulsory that we pay our tithe to church. Okay, they said it's not compulsory that we pay our tithe to church. Our tithe can be can be paid anywhere. Now, they believe that giving to the orphanage is their tithe. They believe that giving to the um, to the elderly is their tithe. Giving to that guy, that boy, that has food to eat is their tithe. So, Pastor Tony, tell us, where are we meant to pay our tithe? The, the Bible was so specific. Okay. It said, bring you all your tithes in Malachi 3, 8 to 10. It was so specific. Bring you all your tithes into my storehouse. All right. Where is the storehouse of God? The church. The church is the storehouse of God. And in the church, there are hierarchies in the church. The custodian or the head of the church, the priest, is the head of the church. Okay, for instance now, you are a businessman. 
and you have your company or your business site yeah. and you are you're supposed to pay tax to FIROS yeah. and they come to you you say no I've paid my tax so what did you pay the tax to the regulated body is FIROS mm. so you don't say you paid your tax because you find out that the street around you is having a bad road so you decide to pay the tax use it to do the road to fill the road so you have paid your tax mm. For FIR FIROS, you'll be held for penalty because you've told them you have not paid. There's only a system. The Bible said, God is not the author of confusion, but the author of peace. And I say in heaven, there's orderliness in heaven. There's no breaking of ranks. Okay. So God is an orderly God. So just as the government, if the government can be so organized that they establish FIROS, a body system where you pay your tax so that everybody must pass through that channel, then how come God do not prepare a body that will receive the tithe? God has already made the church. And he said, in the same way, like I said, bring it to the storehouse. It's the duty of the priest. Just as the duty of the governor or president in FIR, for FIROS mm -hmm. to distribute the tasks for good roads, good education, light, and all the rest. The duty of the priest to apportion to whichever is lacking mm -hmm. in the church. Like I said in Acts 4, he said they, were, they, they had needs. So they decide to bring properties, the deacons and deaconess. They had to bring properties. Some sold their properties. That's where Ananias and Sapphira sold and hide some money. Understand? Now, when they sold and they hide some money, they came. And the apostle Peter said, Why do you think you can receive the Holy Ghost? And Ananias died. And the wife came. Okay, what? How much do you say? I said, The same thing my husband said. I said, The feet of those who carried your husband are at the door. Now, the money belongs to them. But the money, remember that God is the landlord. Okay. We are just tenants on planet earth so you cannot live somewhere you tell the landlord that i've paid my tenancy rate to someone else mm. where the landlord is there that's not possible so the lord has organized the church where you pay your tithe and the priest the head of the church is the one to apportion just like government apportion the tax to different sectors okay all right so so apparently we are meant to pay our tithe to the church that's but correct what, what is the giving to the orphanage and the less privileged ones, what kind of giving is that? Yes. You know, you talked about tithes and offering. Yeah. So giving to the orphanage, when you talk about offering, offering falls into different divisible dimensions. Okay. That's right. So if offering, so that is given to the destitutes. Okay. Giving to the orphanage. So the destitutes. So it's an offering you are giving. An offering, as I said, is a voluntary thing. Okay. It's, it's not compelled. It's a voluntary thing. It's just like God loves a cheerful giver. And if you sow cheerfully, you are going to reap cheerfully. He okay. will sow bountifully, mm -hmm. will reap bountifully. So if you do those ones, you are going, you are increasing your storehouses. The law of tithing is a security to your financial kingdom. Okay. But the law of offering is expansion. Okay. So for tithing, the difference is that whatever the economy seems to be, you have secured your finance. It's just like you doing insurance over any property you have. If there's a loss, you are being compensated for it. That is tithing. You secured it. Okay. While offering can be attributed to be like salaries. Okay. Yes. So, so do, we, do we look at it and actually say that tithing in the Bible is a law? Yes. And it doesn't matter who... Keep, and it's quantified. Okay. Now it doesn't matter who keep that law. It's definitely going to work for him. That's correct. Okay, so if it's I a say, universal law. Okay, so if I say an unbeliever, all right, stay clue to his tight, does not miss out for paying his tight. Are you trying to tell me that the law of multiplication will apply to that same person? Perfectly, and hundred percent. Doesn't matter whether he's a Christian. No. Or Muslim. Yes, God Himself put it. It's just like I take a seed of yam. Okay. And I go and I plant on a fertile soil. Okay. Whether I'm the owner of the soil okay. or not, it's going to yield fruit. Okay. Now, the problem will be, if I'm not the owner, what right do I have to plant there? But if they can, do, finally, judgment will pass that. He who plants okay. is the owner. So, maximum, if where you have a fair play, like FIFA would say fair play, then maybe they can share 50-50. That's why some persons who are unbelievers, mm. who are titers, for instance, you know, you look at the Muslim, I said the Muslims are doing better. Mm. We cannot compare the grieving rate of the Muslim to the Christian. That's the problem we have. Okay. They believe in giving. They believe in giving. They, uh, when you talk about one-tenth, we look at one-tenth, biblically. 
If you go to the Quran, they look at for over 10, 40%. Wow. You understand? So you cannot understand why you come to Nigeria, I said, who are the richest people? You see, you find out that the sector goes to the Muslim. So you cannot expect somebody who is giving 40% and you is giving 10%. Because okay. even as Christians, the 10% is not that it's feast. Just as we go to this bank, first bank, saving interest rate is this amount. Yeah. You don't bank is this. Mm. We want more. We look for the one that is higher. So if we increase our own tithing also to 10, 20, 30%, we can also grow. Okay. So whether you are a believer or not, is a law of seed time and harvest time. It's a natural law. Okay. Now you, you talk about it, you talk about the Zakaya in the Bible. Okay, where he actually um tell God reasons why he will not why he should why not it's not possible for him to so die. die. And he has to argue with God. He has to please his case to God. Now meaning he's showing God things that he has done before. Mm -hmm. I also know that somewhere in the Bible, the Bible when God talks about concerning this thing, reminds me, come and let's reason together. together. Now I've seen a lot of Christians saying things like saying things that what we be, we be. <laughs> I think this will be the last question. <laughs> I seen a lot of Christians say what we be we be. And I've heard a lot of ministers say about you have to be you have to always pray for mercy okay that's another this another topic but i've seen a lot of christians in what would be would be is it possible that as a christian we can plead our case to god and change the circumstances if he's not a pleasant to us yes you know as i said when they say what will be will be that is an idol's man talk okay. it's not for believers okay. the Bible said the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you saw and say, why did the violent take it by force? It's because when you make a decision, and then they say, whatever you ask, you shall get. So we remember that Abraham made a plea for Sodom. And what would have been did not be. Okay. And he said to God, if there can only be just even 10 men, mm. if there can just be even only one, okay. but there was none, and finally God said, okay, what do we say? Let Lot. And the family comes out. Mm. God listened to him. Originally was to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. So what will be will only be when you sleep. It's a little sleep, a little slumber. Poverty overtakes them. Yeah. So poverty is also to overtake you because what will be will not be. Mm. But a little folding of the hands, a little sleep, a little slumber. Then what will be will be. That's why I say for idle men. You say go to the ant, oh yes, sluggard. Learn of our ways. How in rainy season he gathers our food. And in dress, he does not complain. Mm. So, it is works that changes it. Okay. It's works that changes it. So, what will be will not be when works comes in. So, as a Christian, we have to work. We need to work. Faith without work is dead. Okay. I just to the one to say thank you for coming by. We do appreciate your friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll call it a wrap for today. But for next week, we are definitely going to be looking at are the men of God living by tights, yes. Uh, because we've heard a lot of persons <laughs> saying, Oh, I can't give pastor my tithe, I can't give this my tithe. They'll say, Your pastors are riding range of sport, they are living in the big house. Me, the poor person, I'll sing, I will not seem be the one to give them my tithe and an office. So, next week, we are going to be looking at that angle. Is it is it that the pastors are they living by the tithe and offering? Or maybe they have other means where they get their income for where they get their daily bread for. Or is it scriptural that the pastor should eat from the tithe and offering? But that will be for next week. But I want to say, Pastor Tony, thank you for coming, sir. Before we call it to wrap for today, I don't know if you have something brief, like summary of what you've told us today before we call it a wrap. Yes, as I said, tithe is the law of income. Okay. And when the law of income, when you fulfill it, there's going to be a progressional okay. report or evidence on all aspects of your life. Okay. It's not limited. Okay. An offering is a willing sacrifice, as I said at the beginning, that is like an alternative for God, an opportunity cause. You have so many things to do, but you just see there's a need for you to visit the orphanage. There's a need for you to sow a seed in somebody's life, in a brother's life, in a sister's life. Okay. So, now that is the sacrifice you are giving. Right. And sacrifice of alternative for God or opportunity cause is giving you a life of a higher life. Okay. So, when you do that, you are getting a higher life from Christ. And that higher life you are getting from Christ is a life where you don't lack. 
Yes, but you know, some of us want to do it now and see the result immediately. Yeah. Forgetting that you cannot sow a seed now and get it immediately. Because some seeds are perennial. Some are biennial. One year, two years, depending as it may. So, it's only, he said, he that endure to the end. Yeah. You must endure. Because you don't know whether the seed you are planting is perennial or is biennial. Mm. So, if somebody gets his own result in one year, doesn't mean you are going to get your own in one year. Okay. You understand? This, the longer or longer time the seed spend in the, on the air, in the earth, the better result it comes out with. Wow. So, so uh, personally, I said, the, the Lord bless everybody. God bless everybody. And also, you have people who are listening. You are also free to visit us on our, uh, in, our, in our branches. In the, church, uh, the church is uh, located at uh, number seven, Minishinda Street, Elimbu, Portacot, and our days of services. Uh, Tuesdays, fasting and prayers, 8 to 12 noon. And from 12 noon to 4 p.m. is our counseling period. Like I said earlier, our counseling is free. Come expectant. And the Lord will touch you for coming. And our Friday services are second Fridays and last Friday of every month. Uh, our night vigils, which runs from 10 to 4 p.m. While other Fridays are evening services to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And our Sunday services are gracious services, two services. The first one runs from 8 to 10 a.m. And the second from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. We remain a touch from God Ministries, number seven Minish in that street, a limbo port All right. All right, touch from God Ministry. You can afford to miss out from these um wonderful um services that Pastor has laid down for you. Um is a moment where you get blessed, where you get inspired. You no, know, say um like say like um David he said, I'm glad when they said we should go to the house of the Father and pray. So you should be glad, you should always make yourself available to worship God. Yes, you should make yourself available to worship God. Like I said before, um uh, this is actually a pignosis, and of course, Pastor is going to be with us for um for the next three months, we're going to be handling issues that has to do with the church and that has to do with individuals. And right now, we're seeing in the series of tithe and offering. Next week, like I said before, we are definitely going to be looking at how the man of God are they mm -hmm. actually living by the tithe and offering. Meaning, if you don't pay your tithe at all, your offering, either the church will go or the church will. Who will lack finances okay <laughs> now because i know a lot of you we want to hear this part okay because i don't know why people get attached when they talk about money <laughs> when it has to do with the church a lot of people that's something to say about that but we are definitely going to leave that to next week so like i always tell you tomorrow being monday jew jew and jew alone have to go out and make yourself useful pastor tony says so they said you don't sleep. You don't stay idle. You have to work. So you fast to pray. Come on, work. Okay, yeah, I fasted. I prayed. Now what else? You need to work. So you don't stay and thinking God will just drop manna from heaven. Oh, God will not just drop manna from heaven. Pastor said, um, he actually said that God can only bless the work of your hand. Okay, you're giving your tithe, you're giving your offering, then you have to work now for those of you that believe that you don't want to be giving your title of it i'm not here whether it was the one that said it i'm not the one that said it. he said it and it's also in your bible um being in um bringing um your titan of it into the storehouse that they may be meet in the house and he said the house is the house of god not to the orphanage not to any other people he said that one is your free will offering okay so don't quote me wrong don't quote him wrong he didn't say you should not give them but he said that is your free will offering and you have a blessing for that but he said this one you must do to get this in the margin so after let's move to the next session of this program the exodus pc concert for those of you that were not there okay i don't want to say you missed but let's just enjoy the form and for that i'll say see you next week Bye for now.